Hi there, I'm Des Plaines Mayor Andrew Gachkowski, and it's time for another edition of Monday with the Mayor. Last week, we gathered as a community to commemorate Patriot Day, a solemn occasion that reminds us of the tragic events that unfolded on September 11th, 2001. Together with our police and fire departments, we paid tribute to the heroes who bravely responded to the attacks, as well as the individuals whose lives were forever changed by the events of 9-11. Thank you to our first responders, city officials, and community members for coming together to ensure that the memory of 9-11 lives on. We have a few events lined up for the month of September that I want you to know about. The final food truck roundup of the season is Tuesday, September 17th. We've had a great time and lots of delicious food all summer at these events. Join us from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Friendship Park Conservatory. The Displays Fire Department will be hosting their open house on Saturday, September 21st. This event will include fire department vehicles, demonstrations, and family fun. Stop by Station 63 between 11 and 2 p.m. if you want to join in. Our friends at Bike Walk Displays will be hosting their annual community bike ride on Saturday, September 28th. This ride is free and open to all. I participate every year and it's a blast. You can visit Bike Walk Displays website to register and get all the details. At tonight's City Council meeting, we'll be issuing a proclamation recognizing Constitution Week, a time to reflect on the founding principles that unite us as a nation. This week reminds us of the importance of the United States Constitution in safeguarding all of our freedoms and ensuring justice for everyone. Also on tonight's agenda, we'll be discussing beekeeping. At the June 17th meeting, the City Council discussed updating our code to allow beekeeping within city limits. Several aldermen expressed interest in making beekeeping more accessible, although some concerns were raised regarding hive safety and maintenance. Domesticated bees can benefit urban ecosystems, replacing diminished pollinator populations. Bees pay, play a crucial role in pollination of flowering plants, and urban beekeeping can contribute to the overall pollinator population. The city's beekeeping regulations were updated in a 2018 ordinance that allows apiaries for educational purposes only, with restrictions on hive location and the number of hives. City staff researched state regulations and surrounding municipalities to guide potential amendments. City staff is recommending launching a pilot program before implementing a permanent policy. This pilot program would allow up to 10 permits for a two-year period. Under the pilot, apiaries would be limited to residentially zoned properties which follow guidelines similar to those in nearby cities. As always, you can view all of our agenda items and related materials online. Finally, as part of the city's annual budget process, we've scheduled several open budget meetings, the first of which is on Thursday, October 10th, with another on Wednesday, October 16th, and a third meeting on Thursday, October 24th, if needed. If you want to hear more about the city's budget process, I encourage you all to attend or tune in online. As always, you can tune in to displainsil.gov slash livestream to watch online. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.